I've just made a musical instrument in Minecraft. Hello, hello, welcome to episode 19 of Minecraft The Journey and I'm hanging out here at the coastline because I've been working down in that hole, I feel like a mole, I haven't been able to get any natural sunshine for, oh I don't know, 10 days, 10 in-game days now, something like that. Hello pigs, I see you down in my little base area all the time and you like to stick your head in blocks don't you <laughs> anyway we're getting all distracted because i guess the vitamin d is doing its job but we're on episode 19 of minecraft the journey if you're not familiar with minecraft the journey it's the let's play series where we're playing minecraft all the way from the very earliest development versions right up until the current release and at the moment we are playing in version infdev 2010-06-27 and in the last couple of episodes we found ourselves two spawners a spider spawner and a skeleton spawner and in the last episode we got stuck into the skeleton sp spawner to see if we can get that working but because they're a little complicated we've run out of time and we have to wait until this episode to hopefully finish it off so I've been down there digging away, digging a bit of a an elevator, mobivator chute, and I'm going to head back down there now and show you the progress, which admittedly isn't very much since the last episode, but it's enough to help us get started. Now I have to go down my silly little mole hole. This is the only way in and out of the caves below at the moment. I really need a better entrance. Ugh. This was just a shortcut that I made to get me in and out without having to navigate the entire cave network ridiculously. But look how long it is. I'm sick of doing this. Maybe we'll work on an entrance as soon as we've finished the skeleton farm. Well, if you remember, this is the spawner we've been working on over there. Through there is the spider spawner and over here is the skeleton spawner. Currently disabled and that is where all the beasties get spawned from. I've lit it up like crazy because every time I need to do any work in here and it isn't lit up, I get hit by skeletons. And at the back here, I've got a little access way so I can place and remove the water from the back of the farm with relative ease, just in case I ever have to reset it for any reason. And with the testing that I have to do, I have to do that every now and then. Now down here, we've got a little chute and what will happen is the water will flow this way and the skeletons will get pushed to the edge and then drop down into the chute. The difficulty is in these really early versions of Minecraft, the only things that will block the water, which don't block the whole block really, are the ladders. And the difficulty we saw in the last episode is if you're a mob and you're hugging the edge of the wall like this and you hit the ladder, you get stuck on the ladder. And there's very little that I can do about this at the moment without um, actually making the farm potentially ugly. What I could do is put ladders across this layer right here so that when the mobs go forward and fall down, they fall in like this, but they don't have a ladder for themselves to get caught on or anything, and they're aligned more to this side of the wall. And then as they come down here, they would go into what will become the water elevator. As you can see, I got stuck on this one with how the farm is currently configured. But if I jump right on in here, at the moment I've just been playing with different layouts. There is a way to do this where the two waters will connect, but the problem is in these versions, the source block pushes you back, back towards where we're standing now. So what happens is you're being pushed along like this in the water, and then as soon as you hit this water, it pushes you back in the other direction, back towards this. So mobs tend to get stuck right here, which would be very, very annoying anyway. So we're just playing with different layouts and right now to see what works. So if I'm a mob and I go in here, I'm standing in a puddle of water, if I'm stuck here, I get pushed by the mobs behind me. I hope, I haven't tested that yet. So hopefully they'll just push me in here. I can breathe because I have air, but I'm in the water and mobs will tend to bob in the water. They'll push up like we do with the space bar. So up I go, up, 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 up. I haven't counted how many of these there are yet, but I'm hoping there will be enough to have the right around amount of fall damage for the skeletons to die. This is as far as I've done so far because I've only got two buckets so each time that I do this I have to kind of let me just get my torch Ugh. there we go we'll knock that knock knock that one out put a water uh, we need another water here go up and as you can see I've just run out of uh, of water so I need to go back down and get more 
So as I do that, yeah, you can see the progress I've made. What I need to do next is test to make sure that the skeletons are actually going up this funnel. And if they are, then we can organize and find the right level for which to drop them down so that they'll take the right amount of fall damage and die to their deaths. Later on, we should be able to convert it into an XP grinder just by adjusting the fall height so they land at about half a block. Sorry, half a heart. You know what I mean. So let me get on with this a little bit. Oh, and by the way, I just want to show you one clip, by the way. Just remembered. There's one clip I want to show you, which I recorded in between episodes. What happened was I was working in the spawner and I got killed by a skeleton. And at the moment, every time I die, I end up back at world spawn. And it's actually quite a difficult journey to get from there to here. It's, I don't know, a thousand blocks or something like that. I need to make a proper pathway to it, but just haven't got to that yet. So I have to navigate my way through the world. And what I encountered was a classic bug of this era. One that I'm a little bit worried about that I might encounter more and more. Uh, let me just cut to that clip and show you. Oh, I've read about these. These are the chunks of doom where this sort of stuff happens. And I'm afraid I'm quite dead and I, well, not dead, but you know, I, I have no way of getting, getting out of this. I can sort of dig the block, but I can't move. I've tried re-logging. Let's uh, try and do that again. Uh, and there you go, see? Oh, am I free? No, I'm not free. All of the sheep around me just died, I think. Yep, I'm completely stuck in this block and I have no way. Oh, I'm out. I'm free. But look, look what's it. Oh, no. I gotta get out. Look what's happening. Chunks of doom. Let's hope this bug gets fixed pretty soon because this is a major thoroughfare for me. I recently died in the skeleton spawner and um, I had to make all my way back. This is the way that I go all the way along here and I follow the coastline. Ah, uh, how do I get out of this? Hmm. Oh, I'm free. I'm free. I've made it. I'm free. Is it still jiggery and stuttery? It, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at all those sheep. They're all stuck in blocks. I think that's what's happening to me as well. Hmm. This is not good. I managed to escape, but oh, look at this. This is terrible. Let's hope that None of the chunks that I'm working in are affected like this. Oh, oh that, it feels like I just went through some sort of magnetic weather disturbance or something like that. It feels like these chunks are better. Maybe. Oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. As you can see, they're fairly disastrous. Now I've come up here to the back of the farm because I'm going to release some skeletons. All I really need is, is one or two. So this is always unsafe when I do this, but let's see what happens. No skeletons so far. Probably because it's just obscenely bright in there at the moment. Let's try another bucket of water here. And another one here. Okay, that should be enough to start darkening the room. Let's try again. You can see why I do this from a little hidey hole. I just, I don't want to die, do I? <laughs> okay, let's, let's just darken the entire room then. We'll come back and deal with the, the rest of that later. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous because I know how, how challenging it can be when the skeletons do attack. Oh, that sounds like one of those drama shows, right? When skeletons attack. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's one. Now, I'm going to stay here because I've got to put my safety barrier up and look how dangerous they are. Now, let's see what happens to him. He should be stuck. Can you see him down there? Yes. He should be stuck. And there he goes. He got caught and he's on his way up. That's good news. That's really good news. And he was just one. So, maybe another one will, will spawn in a minute. Hmm doesn't look likely. Let me just get rid of this water and relight up and we'll get up there and see what's going on. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're getting me. It looks like a bit of chaos up there. There were a few skeletons that released themselves into the system and I'm trying to 
ever so carefully get up there without without dying. I don't want to die. Ah, no, okay. Let's, let's let's see what we can do here. Come on. They seem to have. That's it. That's both of them. This was the area that I was working in last. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Let's get up here. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> those were those were like World War II bombs that you find that are unexploded, right? They're dangerous. Get rid of them. Okay. Now, are we up, up uh, where are we? <laughs> we're up here. We need to get rid of that and we need to continue building up this thing probably a couple more levels, but I haven't brought any water with me. So, that was a really clever. It seems pretty safe in here. I haven't seen anything spawn in a while, which is pretty good. Now I've built my mobivator. It goes right up here. I'm not sure how high it goes and I can't remember exactly how high it needs to be either. We're just gonna have to do a bit of experimenting, but I do wanna just jump down here like a skeleton. That was quicker than a skeleton would ever be. But down in here, this should be zero and above me should be one. And I'm just going to go up and count the number that I have and make sure that I think I have enough. And I'm gonna do that by just looking at how many times the water bubbles come up because it's a bit too dark in here. Ready? Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. I don't know where that came from. Let's get out of here. Are you counting? I'm counting. Uh, uh. I don't know where that creepy nasty sound came from. Uh, I think we should be almost at the top. I'm not distracting you from your counting, am I? I hope not. Okay, we've made it. Ah, <sighs> did you count how many times the bubbles came up? Let me know in the comments what your count was. Answers will be available at the end of the episode. Now we're working in a tight little space up here, but the way this should work now is something like this. Let's, let's close that off, get rid of that torch. Now here we need another flowing water, which again, I didn't bring. I am so good at this game. And we're back, water at the ready, okay. Now what should happen here is that the skeletons shall come up to the top here, get to the top, and they should hit a water source block that's up here, float up to the top, and then move forward in this direction where they'll eventually reach the end. What we need to do is place the water. Uh, you're not supposed to go that way, water. Thank you. <laughs> and just see how far it goes. We just want the water to reach the end so we have a nice neat drop off just like that. Now what we need to do here is I don't want to be wasting my diamond pick yet I didn't bring another pick so unfortunately we're just going to have to do it. No, no, this is the drop. Let me dig down. And here we are. This is the death point. This is where all of the skeletons should drop down to their deaths or to their survival. Now there's a little tweak that I want to make here. One is that if this is a half slab at the top, so we can remove the half slab. And if we remove the half slab, then I'm hoping that this is where they will drop to their death. If I put the half slab back, I'm hoping this will be the point where they drop to half a heart so that we can eventually turn this into an XP grinder. XP is coming by the way. Yeah. So what we need to do here is make this a little bit more safe. I want it to be glass because I love the idea of being able to see the skeletons drop down. And if the, the height at the top isn't the right height, then we can go back up there and make some adjustments. But for the time being, let me find my glass. I think I am almost out of glass. No, I'm not carrying any on me. Hey, I think they're excited because I don't have to punch them to death for wool anymore. I can just turn string into wool blocks. Don't tell anyone but I've been secretly mining the beach for all the sand and then just covering it up again. Look at that, you wouldn't even know. And I think we are about ready. Look at that thing of beauty. Got our nice little glass chamber. We've got half a block here so nothing can ever see us. And if we break this block like that, we can still hit the beasties and not take any damage because their eyes will be up here. So that's good news. Now we just need to put this to the test. I need to put this back because this is going to be the block that they land on and take half a heart of damage. And then the one underneath is going to be the one where they go to their death. So what we need to do now is um, get across here, I suppose. This will all be tidied up later. And we just need to darken the farm a bit. The way to do that right now is probably just to break one of these blocks. I'm not sure how many I need. I I lit it up quite significantly. Let's break, let's break two. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to end up in the farm. 
Yep, I ended up in the farm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do this the more challenging way. Oh, no, okay. Let's get in here. Okay, run away, run away, run away. Are there any of them spawning? Oh, don't tell me I need to make more darkness. Ah, oh, okay. Let's get uh, some disposable blocks and head out into the farm and we'll break this one. Okay, surely that should be enough. Let's darken this area as well. Oh, look, maybe this is why. Okay. <laughs> you can see I've had it extra lit. There we go. Okay, we've got ourselves our first guest. Excellent. Okay, he should be going into the into the ditch. We can't quite see. But if we come over here, he should be making his way up. There he goes. <laughs> and up he goes. I will tidy all of that up later and make it look extra nice. Okay, so he's going up into the system right now. I'm not sure how long it will take him to get over the top. I'm hoping we get one or two more in here. Oh, oh, there's one more in the system here, which we can't quite see. He's trapped down there. But the problem is he can see me. So when we have the glass in, I think that'll become less of a problem. So what's happening over here? Is the guy at the top yet? There he is. Okay, he died. Right. This is the one where we want them to take damage, which tells me that we've got the farm set too high or the layover chamber at the top so we need to go upstairs and adjust that we're going to do that by dropping it by one block but in the meantime we need to madly light up this farm again because we don't want any more incidents i've made a few adjustments up here all i had to do was drop it down by just two blocks and the skeletons are now flowing through let me see if i can encourage some up so that we can see them but to do that i might have to actually encase this thing in glass all right let's take this through bit by bit We've got Skelebutts who have just spawned and they've gone down into the chute. Having a bit of trouble on this corner, but eventually he will struggle against the current and he will make his way down to this section down here where he will get into the bottom section and hopefully he will come up the tube or one of them will. There he goes. Yes, so he's flowing up the tube all the way to the top. Let's see what's happening right up the top. And we've got Skelebutts coming out, going across the top and... Falling down the pit of doom. But it would seem like we've made one more miscalculation up the top there and I'm going to have to go back and adjust it again. Yep. Most of the skeletons that are coming down here are dying and the occasional one survives. I thought it was the other way around. So I need to go back and adjust it. It was bound to happen when your own mob trap kills you. Well, unfortunately, these chunks are definitely broken. I just came back, literally walked over this block, and... Eh, eh. These are the exact same chunks that I went through last time when they gave me exactly the same trouble. Oh. Oh, swim in the water, apparently. Nope. Nope, still broken. You know, I suppose this is part and parcel of the experience. We're playing a game that is still in active development and it hasn't even reached its alpha stage yet. And alpha, alpha software is supposed to be known for its instability. So, you know, I think we've been doing pretty well so far that we haven't had any completely destructive problems that have killed our world or anything like that. So hopefully, I've got my fingers crossed right now, which is why the mouse cursor isn't moving. Hopefully that won't happen. I'm back at my little workstation, and do you notice anything different? Full new set of armor, full new set of tools. Unfortunately, when I was making my way back to this area, because the lay of the land up there is so difficult, I mean, everything looks exactly the same, and the path from spawn to here is not so straightforward. Unfortunately, I must have timed out my items, which should have been right here on this pedestal, and when I came back, everything was gone. Including my diamond pick, I should be taking more care with these things, really, shouldn't I? Progress update. I've put in the floor because I needed to, because I wanted it to be level with this room in here. And as you can see up here, we have a bit of a killing chamber. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Where the skeletons will drop down and either I can kill them or they will die on their own. At the moment, it's a bit of a combination of both. And when we go upstairs, I'll show you why. 
or maybe you can see. Let me just activate this farm for a while. As you can see, you can come in here and you can check out the skeletons and see what they're doing. I'm not sure how well that comes up on the video. One of the problems with the skeletons here is that their AI kicks in even though they've got no targets to go for and they fight against the water. They're always trying to push back here along the channel and going all the way back. As you can see from these fellas here, I dropped out the block that was just here because I found that the skeletons were still having difficulty getting into this area here so I just gave them a bit more freedom and it means that they do bounce back a lot more like these but if you spend a little bit of time here they tend to build up and push each other into the into the funnel and up they eventually go. If I could put a half slab on the top here I would just to lower it that little bit more but unfortunately you can't do it that way with the half slabs yet so that's just something we have to deal with. Oh yeah and I do have this section at the bottom here maybe I'll adjust this one day but for now the skeletons are at least getting up there, so that's what we want. If you come up here, we have a full glass front now, so you can see exactly what's going on inside. I like that. I like to be able to see what's happening inside my farms. Possibly the least glamorous section right now, and maybe it needs some refinement in the future. <laughs> Look, I haven't even, haven't even put all the glass in so I can see what's happening. But what happens here is the skeletons come up to the top, and then they're pushed along here by this water. Now I think that the reason that they're still taking damage sometimes and not other times is because they still bunch up here and they don't get immediately pushed and I haven't found a nice solution to that with the current mechanics of the game. It means that they sometimes take a point or two of drowning damage and if they do, when they get over here and reach the chute, they fall down and they take full damage and die. Bye bye. Off he goes. So yeah, this section is okay, and I might make it look a bit better in the future because this is just me working out the different heights and everything that I've needed to make it work. And I do want to be able to come up here and check on things, so might as well make it less dirty. And right here we've got a little window so we can see back into the farm. This is on the left side of the farm here. I've just put this in right now because I wanted to be able to see what was happening inside the spawner while we're standing up here near the killing chamber. And when we're up here, we should see skellies drop. Ooh. There we go. That one happened to die. Probably took some damage. But as you can see, this guy here, he survived. So we can come up here and we can kill them manually like Ooh. this. And they're just a one hit kill. I think they're a two hit kill with the punch. Just because it's difficult to get the exact heights right. It's all about the exact drop height that they they fall from and they have to be lined up exactly right up the top to make sure that they don't get a little bit of a jump at the end and get a bit of extra height or anything like that. But we've run out of time. In fact, I think this episode might have been a bit longer than I expected. So thank you for hanging around with me and sticking it out to the end. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please do feel free to leave me a comment and let me know and leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed, then you can subscribe for more content like this, or you can join the Discord, which are in the links to that are in the description below. But thank you once again for joining me. This has been Bugman CX. You've been watching Minecraft The Journey. Bye bye.